Welcome to Christian Nutrition on TV, the show where we review every single episode of Veggie Shells on TV in some sort of order that's not really determined. And by we, I mean just me. Well, it's finally time. Time for the final VeggieTales on TV episode. I had been putting this one off for a while now because I had some leads on some other possible recordings of VeggieTales on TV episodes and as it turned out, people did not follow through with what they said they were gonna do. So here we are with what looks like the final one. So for the final episode, we will be reviewing Gideon Tuba Warrior on TV. Is this the grand finale we've been hoping for? Well. That's, that's why I said hope, because <laughs> we're hoping, all right? Anyways, let's find out. You know, I think that's on backwards. Why, I believe it is. Nice. You know, Archibald was ready to, like, accept that comment. Like, he sensed it coming. But he's too nice to even acknowledge that he doesn't care. Sweaters backwards? Archibald doesn't give any, you know. Hi, kids, and welcome to VeggieTales. On TV. That's right, Larry. I love being on television. Wow, I love being on YouTube. See, that didn't sound forced, did it, Larry? Did it? Oh, great. Really? Mail, mail, here is your mail. Apparently, Jimmy Gord really doesn't know what sarcasm is. It's here in my bag. Jimmy, in we've pocket. heard this before. Oh, wow, look at Bob actually acknowledging the fact that this song and clip is overused in every episode. Or he could possibly be pointing out the fact that it was just done two seconds ago, but I'm hoping he's doing the one where he points out it's in every episode. I know, I know, just stick it through the mail slot. Don't mind a bit. Ta-ta. Uh, uh. uh, Jimmy will never learn. So do you think it's possible that God has a plan for Grandma? Sign Mary from Hoboken. Have they finally reached peak laziness with their animation? Bob's lips aren't even sinking to the words he is saying. That's, that's lazy. It's not only possible, it's a sure thing, but we can't always know God's plan. So take a look at this and you'll see what we mean. And now Larry's not sinking either. What is going on? I mean, they must have been on some sort of intense time crunch to not be able to sync up this, this basic animation. <laughs> Welcome back to the big event. It's all here to celebrate one thing. Gideon's extraordinary military victory over the previously undefeated, excessively hairy Midianites! Whoa, 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 hold up. Was that large float supposed to be the Ten Commandments? It just had ten Roman numerals on it. Did their society have some sort of issue with the Ten Commandments being on a float? And so they came to some sort of compromise, like, math teacher clearly is in charge here, because they're like, look, you can put the Ten Commandments up on a float, but only if it's just the Roman numerals. That's okay, because I want people to learn math. A man who overcame his complete lack of military experience to become not only the hero of the day, but perhaps the greatest Hebrew warrior of all time. Are we talking about the same Larry that I've been seeing on screen for ever now? This is a man who laughs at danger, who doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. Larry, we're talking about our Larry here. He seems to have trouble with basic tasks sometimes. How could he, that be our, la we're our Larry? Wait, stop, stop the parade. Yeah, that's more akin to what I'm used to seeing from Larry. That's just not the way it was. This is how it really happened. I was minding my own business, practicing my latest marching band moves. Wait, is this a story within a story? And this came out four years before Inception? I'm surprised VeggieTales just didn't sue those thieves. <laughs> this is Gideon, the man who led a small army. Uh, okay. We are screwed. Back to the drawing board. Do you guys think Samson's available? Or Noah, or Abraham, or Esther, or Ruth, or pretty much anyone else. Even my dog could do a better job. Sent from the Lord above with a message. The Lord? Lord? The same. Huh. After finding out that there's a musical artist named Lord, this is a valid question. Gideon listens to the angel as he tells him about God having a plan for Gideon to defeat the Midianites. While Gideon easily believes that Pograp is an angel, he has a hard time believing that God wants him to do anything. At first, this may not make much sense, but when you realize that God has been voiced by Pograp in the past, you may understand his skepticism. If I did, 
I'd need a sign first. A sign? I've got to know absolutely, positively, beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is in this. Isn't just the angel a sign within itself? Does he need more of a sign? Gideon then asks God to make a lamb's wool wet, but the ground dry. This happens. Like, this is what this is what he asked out of all the things, and this happens. Then he says he needs another sign, as if that wasn't enough. This time he wants the ground to be wet and the wool to be dry. Once again, this happens. I want to point out that Paul Grape offered him to time travel, and he passed that up. He passed up doing Back to the Future. How ridiculous. God has chosen me! You don't say. He wants me to lead the troops to victory over the invading horde! As I live and breathe. Yeah, no kidding, Larry. No kidding. Join God's army! Get a free flashlight! Here you go. Here you go. Batteries included. There you go. The military offers you so many benefits with free college tuition, and yet even they cannot compete with Larry and his flashlights. Batteries included, of course. <laughs> Wait, wait, one day left and he is just now getting recruits? They have like no time to train. What was their game plan? Uh, a little help, please. <gasps> it is a heavy rock. Could anyone really pick it up? Oh, oh my. You've got to be kidding. <gasps> All right, here's the thing. Evidently, there's too many of us. You gotta be kidding me, too many? You need every single able body you can get. This is war. Can we keep the flashlight? Yes, you can keep the flashlight. Here we go, I got home. There's my flashlight, I get to keep it. Did you guys hear that guy in the background? I'll, I'll play it again so you can hear him. Here we go, I got home. There's my flashlight, I get to keep it. He seriously said, woohoo, it's a flashlight, I get to keep it. Only in VeggieTales. This is why I watch VeggieTales. But how's drinking a slushie gonna show us who should or shouldn't be in God's army? <laughs> Good question. I'm assuming that people who drink slushies and they get brain freezes aren't qualified to fight, though I'm not sure how that makes much sense. In war, I've never seen anyone use like a brain freeze ray. Maybe they have some advanced technology in Gideon's time that I don't know of. All right, men, tonight we go to battle. Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! Oh, and by the way, this came out a year before 300 did. We will defeat the Midianites with our horns and flashlights. Flashlights? Wait, what? I still don't get it. Are they expecting their music to kill the Midianites? Are they just that bad of players? Do they think it's going to blow out their eardrums or something? Just, it doesn't make sense. We're under attack! Ah! We're under attack! Ah! I can't even fathom right now how he conjured up that idea from musical instruments being played. What? Well, at least it's good music, I'll, I'll give them that. We're under attack! Wake up! Why is Mr. Nezer wearing makeup? Is he gender confused? Explain, VeggieTales, explain! Hey, looks like a big premiere. I wonder what's playing. Probably the... Pirates Who Don't Do Anything movie? Oh wait, was that a spoiler alert? Should I have given you a spoiler alert? I feel like I should have given you a spoiler alert. The sword of the Lord and the video! There comes a time in your life when you think you've seen everything. For me, that time is right now. There's no way anything can be more ridiculous than what I'm watching right now in this VeggieTales episode. Learning to trust God's plan was tough for Gideon, just like it was for you, Mary. right -o, Bob. And I'm still learning to trust, too. Thanks for coming to my house, kids. See you next week. Goodbye! Wow, they're, they're really rushing through this episode. The before and after segments were really short. And I mean really short. There weren't even jokes in the credits, you guys. That's how lame of an episode this was. So maybe Gideon on TV wasn't really the grand finale we were hoping for. In fact, it was more of a whimper, like beating a dead horse. Oh well, that's it for VeggieTales on TV. Uh, if I ever find more episodes or someone else finds more episodes that I haven't done, let me know and I will review those. But until then, 
That's it for now. So remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.